just going to rig it up throwing docks. One of my favorite things is to use a, a Senko. Gary Yamamoto, everybody in the bass world very familiar. Um, two pretty standard sizes. We've got five and four inch. I'm just going to go with the four inch because, like I said, I'm expecting everything to be a little bit smaller here. I'll show you how to rig this. Very simple. You could rig it in a standard way. If I had like an offset worm hook, you could you could rig it so that the hook was exposed, text exposed like that. Um, when I skip docks though, I like to wacky rig. Just pinch it sideways so it's halved. And you just go halfway up into your worm so that it's in half. And you just dissect it. It has a little jiggle to it. Basically, you come to docks. I mean, this is an endless maze of places you could fish. But when it's sunny like this and it's warm, bass love shade. So for me, I just went and found the area that has the absolute most shade. Gonna throw a few casts into the uh, where it's gonna t uh, the shade touches up with another kind of structure. It could be a barrier wall. It could be a a leg to the dock, a piling, a wheel. But anywhere, those would be the first places I would try. So these docks are all pretty high from what you normally look for. You want docks low to the ground, create a lot more shade, uh, fish can school up in there a lot easier and pack. This, a little tougher, way high, sparse, small little legs, but they gotta be somewhere in here. So I'm gonna try the, the shadiest spot, which just so happens to be right in front of this boat ramp. So what you do, spinning gear, you just open it, like for me, when I'm up like this, I'm just going to throw a light underhand, just try and skip it lightly, let it land into the, into the shade and let the Senko fall and kind of do its thing. We'll see if anything's there. You'll know if you get a bite. There's a bite right there. You know if you get a bite, because your line with these little fish, like I was saying, is what I would expect. Little, little largemouth. Your line shakes, twitches just a little bit. If that was a big fish, it would just thunk it. But on these little guys, who happen to eat my Senko, or knock it off, these little guys, it's sometimes harder to tell. When you get used to it and you do it a lot, you can feel it. You can feel the little ticks. That's what the super line does. Even in, in holding your rod, you can feel that tick, 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 and you know that one's on there. Um, but it also helps to get that little bit of visual, especially if you're just starting out. Try, try one of the high viz super lines. I need to go get another Senko. Hey, you have any questions at all, any comments, any feedback, but you know, feel free uh, on Twitter. You can go ahead and send me a direct message or or um, you know, just tweet at my handle. It's at mwalters503. So at mwalters503, send me a message. Let me know questions, comments, feedback. That'd be great. See ya.